Kate's stunning lover's Nocturne has a fascinating royal history. Once again, Duchess Kate was spotted wearing one of Princess Diana's favorite tiaras while on her way to a diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace. It's the same sparkler that Kate wore back in July to the state dinner welcoming King Felipe and Queen Letizia of Spain. But despite the jewels around her neck, all eyes were on the lover's Nazi era placed atop her head, one of Diana's most iconic pieces. The crown obviously holds sentimental value for the Duchess of Cambridge, but it also has an amazing royal history. Sometimes referred to as the Cambridge Lover's Knot, the topper is, in fact, a replica of an earlier tiara. The crown Kate wears, however, was created for Queen Mary in 1914 by the House of Garand from pearls and diamonds already owned by her family. She modeled after her grandmother Princess Augusta of Hesse's headpiece, the original Cambridge Lover's Nazi era, which is currently thought to be held in an unknown private collection. After Queen Mary died in 1953, the crown was passed down to her granddaughter, Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen wore the tiara several times in the 50s, before moving on to other diadems like the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland era, which have since become her favorites. In 1981, the Queen loaned the lover's Nazi era to Princess Diana as a wedding gift. Diana opted instead to wear the Spencer tiara, a family heirloom, on her big day, but the lover's knot became one of her favorite pieces, despite being so heavy that it hurt her head. When Diana and Charles divorced, the crown was returned to Queen Elizabeth II, Diana was allowed to keep her jewelry as part of the settlement, but as the tiara was on loan from the Queen, it was given back, and reportedly put into a safe at Buckingham Palace. According to People, following Diana's death in 1997, the tiara wasn't seen publicly until 2015, when Duchess Gate wore it to much fanfare at a diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace. She has since worn it three other times, including the reception in December 2017. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.